everyone, and welcome to the newest edition of The Insider, the ongoing video series that keeps you up to date on all things IPW. I'm the voice of IPW, J-Rod. Jamal Kick started the show by bringing up the fate of a tournament. Jamal will be watching the tournament very closely and says he's ready to face whoever the tournament champion may be. He was interrupted by the Dark Gentleman. The Dark Gentleman voiced his respect for Jamal and reminded Jamal that he helped Jamal in the past in IPW. The Gentleman asked very nicely for a shot at Jamal's IPW championship. He even said, please. Jamal King granted the match and would defend his title in our main event against the Dark Gentleman. The opening kickoff saw two Fate of Eight qualifiers, Chad Alpha and Jeremiah Nazareth. Alpha has been on a big win streak this year, and Jeremiah Nazareth not only has Max Morrison to aid him in the tournament, but considering how his match with Casey Tempest went down, you could say Nazareth is the most violent man in the tournament. Alpha and Nazareth went back and forth until a small package situation went down that saw both men with their shoulders pinned to the mat. The referee didn't realize it until he counted the fall and later ruled the match a no contest. Perhaps these two will get a chance to see each other again in the Fate of a Tournament on June 3rd. LaDon Sanders was up next. His opponent was another Fate of a Qualifier, Schwartzy. This match was a delight for the fans and these two really got after it. In the end, Schwartzy got the win. This keeps his momentum rolling going into the tournament. The third match of the evening was a Michiana Championship title defense for Vedrick Bison and a big return match for Casey Tempest. It was our Patreon exclusive, the first ever Patreon exclusive title match. Go over to Patreon to see it for yourself. Ladon Sanders returned to the ring with a microphone. Sanders called Felix Morio down to the ring. Sanders wanted to apologize to Felix for leaving him in the ring last week to fend for himself during their tag team match. Marco Modello interrupted their exchange to talk a bunch of trash in Italian again. Ladon wanted these two to settle their differences, so he made a suggestion. Felix Morio has been pinned before, but has never been submitted. Marco Modello has been submitted before, but has never been pinned. Sanders suggested they fight it out in a match where Morio had to pin Modelo or Modelo had to submit Morio. Pretty early on, Modelo tapped out to an armbar, but the referee could do nothing. Modelo hit a huge kick and pinned Morio for an easy three count, but again, the referee did nothing. It wasn't until the big flying elbow from Felix that we actually got a decision as Felix finally put Modelo's shoulders down for the conclusion of the bout. Afterwards, Ladon carried Marco's limp body to the back just as Marco carried Ladon last week. In exciting news, these two have actually registered themselves as a tag team. So add another one to this booming IPW tag team division. Speaking of the tag team division, the unbeaten two non-cons challenged tag team champions real hype. This match was chaos from the beginning to end. The big finish came when Otto wrapped his hand with a chain. Then Jorge threw some type of powder substance in the eyes of Jimmy Shawan. A blinded Shawan kept fighting, but Otto Spencer slammed his chain-wrapped hand into Shawan's head, and that was all she wrote. Ladies and gentlemen, we have new IPW Tag Team Champions, two non-cons. In related news, I also have to mention what happened following the event. While searching through a trash can, Felix Morio was approached by Casey Tempest. The two made a very nonchalant agreement to team up together. So I guess we can add yet another tag team. With this, it's an easy claim to make that IPW has one of the deepest tag team rosters of any company in the entire sport. Stella Bujo has taken advantage of an opportunity. We said time and again that nobody wants to face Randy West. So in order to get a shot at the women's title, all you have to do is volunteer. This time, Randy was more familiar with Bujo. And for Bujo, Randy's aura of invincibility was gone. Bujo had Randy on the brink of defeat until Randy pulled a dirty tactic to pick up the win. Bujo was a little confused after the match, but tried to pay Randy some respect anyway. That's when Randy decked her. This was uncharacteristic of Randy, and the crowd didn't really know how to react. Does Stella Bujo have Randy West's number? Is this why Randy reacted like that? We've been pumped to finally see the showdown between Derek Wolf and Josh Raymond. It was finally time, or so we thought. Derek sent a message to IPW management saying that he has decided to forfeit the match. Both members of the home team were thoroughly disgusted, as were the fans. We really wanted to see Josh versus Derek. 
and we have reached out to Derek for a comment. Derek has declined to speak, and nobody has heard from him since. We reached our main event, and it was a good one. The Dark Gentleman versus Jamal King. The Dark Gentleman pushed King to his limits in this match and really proved he can compete at the top of the card against the best IPW has to offer. In the end, the Dark Gentleman was caught in the Supreme Lock. I once stated that everybody taps to the Supreme Lock, but apparently that doesn't include the Dark Gentleman. He went out on his shield and refused to tap, eventually passing out from the pain. Jamal King defeated the Dark Gentleman by technical submission. This display of heart won the fans over big time, to the point that the fans were chanting TDG as the Dark Gentleman was revived. Jamal King remains our IPW champion and will be watching closely as the fate of a tournament determines the next big challenge to his title. With three big IPW events between the tournament and War on the Shore 3, anything can happen. Our next IPW event will be the third annual Fate of Eight Tournament. Anderson Knight, Terry Van Avery, Chad Alpha, Jeremiah Nazareth, Schwartzy, Max Morrison, Josh Raymond, and Jeremiah Goldmain. These eight men will fight it out in a single night, single elimination tournament. We know anything can happen in this tournament, as evidenced by the first Fate of Eight Tournament, when Tommy Vendetta got a bye due to his opponent being medically disqualified from competing or last year's Fate of Eight tournament, when Ren Jones injured Jeff King prior to their match in the quarterfinals. So this year, IPW has selected a few alternates to fill these spaces if any issues should arise in this year's tournament. Whoever is able to win this tournament will receive the ultimate opportunity of competing in the main event for the IPW Championship on July 1st at War on the Shore 3. That concludes this edition of The Insider. Join us on Saturday, June 3rd at Ruggers Up and Under in Kalamazoo, Michigan as IPW presents the third annual Fate of Eight. See, June 3rd in Kalamazoo, Michigan is the fate of the eight tournament for IPW. Winner gets a shot at the heavyweight championship. So I'm, here's a spoiler, I'm winning both. I'm gonna take the tournament and then I'm gonna take the title. And I have the support of the gold team behind me and everybody wants to cry about that saying that I turned my back on the fans. The fans turned their back on me. You guys remember the first time I had a shot at the championship against Ren, the guy that knocks popcorn out of your hands, spills your drinks. When you come up to him for an autograph, he throws your pen, pen across the room. That's who you guys cheered for over me. I fought with dignity. I fought with honor. I wanted your respect so bad and all you did was maybe a polite clap, maybe a little bit of an applause. You never really gave a damn about me. You just hated me less than whoever my opponent happened to be that day. Goldmain saw potential in me. He came up with me for an offer, you know, money, that's one thing. A shot at the title, it's something I've had before. He came up to me with respect and promises that he kept. So, I never turned my back on you. You turned your back on me. 
and all your heroes that may be in this tournament, like Schwartzy or Josh Raymond, Chad Alpha. I'm going through each and every one of them, and I'm going to win that belt. And then when I take that belt, I'm going to bury whatever hero happens to have it at the time. I don't care if it's Jamal King. I don't care if it's Ren again. I simply do not care. And it all starts with the fate of the eight tournament. And you can bet your ass I'm winning that one. And I'm going to win it for all of you that doubted me. Choose your character. So it's that time of the year again. It's time for the Fate of Eight Tournament that Independence Pro Wrestling puts on every year. Now, there's eight individuals who are going head to head, toe to toe, man to man, to see who comes out on top to earn a title shot at the war on the shore in Muskegon this summer. Well, the man who's gonna get that title shot is the man you're listening to talk, Chad Alpha. Chad Alpha's bringing his A game to the tournament this year. Now I've been in the tournament the past couple years that I started with IPW at War on the Shore 1. Now at War at the Shore 3, Chad Alpha is going to earn that title shot and not only earn the title shot, but be the new IPW heavyweight champion. And to show all the IPW fans what wrestling's really about. It's not just my time, it's Alpha time. Choose your character. Everybody, it's Schwartzy here. It's your homie, it's your player, it's your baby boy, Schwartzy. That's right, we've got the Faith Skis of the Eight Skis tournament. Isn't that fantastic? And what is it about the Faith Skis of the Eight Skis? I'll tell you what it is about. It's about getting that title shot. It's about going three rounds with some of your closest homies, some of your most diabolical enemies and getting all the way to the end and earning yourself one big, fat, rolled up title shot and smoking it clear to victory. Mm. Ooh, that's some good mint cannabis. But I'll tell you right now, it doesn't matter who you put in front of me. It doesn't matter who you throw in my way. It doesn't matter what the stipulations be. Homie, nobody, nobody does it better than Schwartz and IPW. Nobody has the matches Schwartzy has at IPW. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to put on three Uno Dos Trace Trace Barn Burners for all you fine people and walk out of there as your number one contender by taking the Faith Skis of the Eight Skis into my own hand because nobody smokes it, nobody does it, nobody rolls it better than Schwartzy, baby.
Well, it's that time of year again. It's the IPW Fate of Eight tournament. It's yours truly, Josh Raymond. Well, people have been talking a lot about it. Like, who's going to win this tournament? We look at things, we look at the statistics like we do with every other sport. There's no one better to win this tournament than Josh Raymond. Why? Well, I'm the only person in this tournament who's been in all three of them. I'm the only person in this tournament who's won one. And I'm probably the most experienced person in this tournament. Sure, Chad Elf has had a, you know, another year in the business before I did. So did Max Morrison. But I've wrestled more matches. I've traveled the road much further. I've wrestled on other continents. I've done a lot more than anyone else in this tournament. And humbly speaking, it's going to be obvious that I'm the winner. So, to feast your eyes on this year's 2023 IPW Fate of Eight winner. Choose your character. IPW, I wanted to talk about the upcoming Fate of the Eight tournament on June 3rd. This is the first time I've been in the... Sorry. This is the first time I've been in the Fate of the Eight tournament. You know what? And I've been spending the last couple of weeks psyching myself up, thinking maybe one of us, Jeremiah or myself, could go all the way to the end and win the title shot against Jamal King. And then when I really started to think about it, what if, what if we do match up in the tournament, Jeremiah and Nazareth and myself? And it's been making me sick for the last several days thinking about what could happen. Obviously, I don't want to fight Jeremiah. I don't want to step in the ring with the spiritual leader of the forgotten. I don't want to do it. But it's not up to me, and it's not up to him, it's up to IPW management. And I got so sick, I missed May Day. I couldn't, I couldn't drive out to Springfield, Michigan. I couldn't handle it. I've been throwing up, and I've been coughing and sweating and sick to my stomach, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. All I can say is Jeremiah's got the plan. Come June 3rd, Ruggers up and under. Whatever he says goes. If he says fight, I'm gonna fight. If he says win, I'm gonna win. Because I bend to the will. Cross my heart. Hope to die. Choose your character. Fate of the Eight.
the toughest tournament in all of professional wrestling. On June 3rd, eight men will walk into Ruggers up and under. Only one will get the challenge for the IPW Championship afterwards. That one is going to be me. It doesn't matter how hard anybody else trains or how much tape they watch or how much they pray to God and eat their vitamins. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I will walk out as the number one contender for the IPW Championship. Every single person who steps in front of me, I will beat, I will break, and I will hurt. As far as Max Morrison goes, do not worry, my friend. I have a plan. Everything will be as it should be. Everyone should be prepared because you will all bend to the will of Nazareth. <laughs> Choose your character. The biggest advantage for me going into the Fate of Eight tournament is that I've got a mentor who's actually won one of these things. And what Josh Raymond tells me all the time is that I've failed to live up to my own talents. And he tells me that I'm so talented that I should have done more. And the reason that I haven't done more is because I really failed to put the work in. And they tell you that hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. But when talent does work hard, you get me. And all the times that I've failed to get my hand raised in the past, I'm going to get my hand raised three times at the Fate of Eight tournament. Back to back to back, and I'm gonna win the tournament. I'm gonna win the shot at the title. And I'm gonna finally live up to everybody's expectations. I P W. It's your boy, the 24 karat lion, Jeremiah Goldman. Today we're going to talk about June 3rd, the Fate of Eight Tournament, where your boy will finally meet his destiny face to face as I become the winner of the Fate of Eight. Will me and Anderson become the winners of the Fate of Eight? You know, you know, no, no, that, just winning it, that, that's, that's expected, that's too simple, you know, you know, even a Anderson likes surprises. So you know what, actually, we're gonna have a little curveball, if you will. You see, your boy, your boy's been talking about co-championships, taking the IPW title to the next level. So you know what? You idiots, 
You just have to be there to see what happens. But trust me, as I do, I'm going to take what was going to be a great experience and I'm going to make it golden. Choose your character. It's time for Fate of Eight Tournament, the toughest tournament in professional wrestling. I'm here with one of the entrants in tonight's tournament, Chad Alpha. What do you think, man? There's, you don't know who your first opponent is tonight, but you're on first. No, this Fate of Eight Tournament is great because you never know what's going to happen in IPW. But you know what? I've been training hard. I've been hitting it. I've been getting it done. I've been turning up the volume. And I'm bringing the heat, so it really doesn't matter to me who I'm wrestling because I'm confident I can come out on top and earn that title shot. Champion, how can you see Chad Alpha as the champion? Can you see it tonight, can you taste it? I can see it within my reach. It's not gonna be easy, you know, we got a lot of good competition here in IPW. But like I said, I've been putting in the hard work, I've been training, I'm ready for it, I am ready. Anything you wanna to say to all the other entrants in tonight's Fate of Eight tournament? Enjoy your victories, because when you get in the ring with me, you won't taste it. Chad Alpha, ladies and gentlemen, Fate of Eight tonight here at Ruggers Up and Under. It's time for IPW Fate of Eight Tournament 2023 edition. Jeremiah Nazareth, you're in it. How you feeling about tonight? I'm feeling great. I've never been more confident about anything in my life. So why, why all this confidence? Well, you see, I've talked to management and I have exactly the opponent I wanted tonight to start off in the first round. Who? Oh. You're just going to have to wait to find out. Just know that I have exactly who I wanted because everyone bends to the wheel of Nazareth. It's going to get real interesting tonight. Jeremiah Nazareth, the leader of the Forgotten. IPW Fate of Eight Tournament here at Rutgers Up and Under on this June 3rd, 2023. A man who has been in the tournament every year won it the first year. Josh Raymond, is it going to be any different tonight? Are you taking it home or what? Well, this is my third Fate of Eight tournament, and everybody in the tournament's confident, but I'm the only one who's won one of these things. So tonight, whether it's Terry and I in the finals, Terry and I in the first round, it doesn't matter who my opponent is, Josh Raymond's going to come out on top. Anything you want to say to the other entrants in tonight's tournament? Any final words for them? Good luck, because you're going to need it. Josh Raymond. Tonight, Fate of Eight Tournament, IPW. The winner, the winner goes on to War on the Shore. War on the Shore, both of you guys are in it tonight. Any issues? Any issues tonight? Uh, how's it going to work out for the gold team? Obviously, that means we're going to win, dummy. There's two of us. That gives our team alone a 25% chance of taking this gym. I would expect you run all of the soundboard shit. That's engineering, that's math. I could need you know a little bit. We are fine. If we end up against each other, first of all, that wouldn't be till the finals. You know, your boy's been able to see some papers. You know, there's two sides of a bracket, dummy. And if that happens, obviously, I'm gonna let Anderson take the title. What? I couldn't beat Anderson. He literally competes in the Scottish Games. You talk about this every time he comes on, you know, the screen because it's your uh, Anderson. I, I can't. Please tell him. No worries tonight. No worries tonight, Anderson. I literally have none. You see, I I've trusted Goldman so far. He's made good on all of his promises. The very first night with the Gold Team, we were in a title match, which we would have won, by the way. If you can vouch. We were up. You were up. We were about to hit the finish. So it was going to be over. The non-cons got involved. He's done nothing but 
deliver since I've joined the gold team. So I have nothing but confidence in tonight. Any final words for the other entrants in tonight's tournament? You idiots think you're great, but we were golden, shall. All right, let's go. Jeremiah Goldman, Anderson Knight, the gold team, both in the tournament tonight. The fate of eight tournament here at IPW. It's the Fate of Eight Tournament, IPW, this June 3rd, 2023. Terry Van Avery, you're in it this year, man. One of the, one of my favorites in the tournament tonight. What are you thinking right now? You know, I appreciate that. I'm not the normal smiling and having a good time type of guy, you know, threw a couple of back before. No, I'm not on that. I'm shaking. And it's not because I'm tweaking on nothing or anything like that. I'm nervous, okay? So you got, like, one more question, then I got to get out of here. Because I think I'm about to start puking, to be honest. I'm worried about this one, man. I really am. I'm taking this serious. One more question. What about Josh Raymond? Either Josh Raymond or myself will win this tournament. Done deal. Terry Van Avery, ready for the Fate of Eight tournament, here tonight with IPW. Here we are, IPW Fate of Eight Tournament 2023 edition at Ruggers Up and Under in Kalamazoo on this June 3rd, 2023. Schwartzy, you've been on a tear here at IPW. Is tonight the night? Schwartzy here, yes, and tonight is always the night. It's always the night when Schwartzy's in the house. Let me tell you something right now, homie. Nobody has been more consistent at IPW skis than Schwartzy. No one rolls them up and smokes them harder than Schwartzy. It does not battle the opponent. You can tell old Dave Meltzer that I'm about to throw a couple of five-star skis, you know what I'm saying? But tonight is the night. Tonight is my night. Tonight is the night that the people, the people get the man that they want to represent them. Someone just like them. Someone that lives life just like them. Someone that smokes a little weed out back just like them. Somebody that understands them, but someone that will fight for them. My name is Schwartzy, and I'm not here for a long time, but baby, I'm here for a good time. Schwartzy, IPW Fate of Eight Tournament tonight. It's time for Fate of Eight Tournament. One of the entrants tonight here at IPW's Fate of Eight Tournament, Max Morrison. I got to talk to Jeremiah Nazareth earlier, just so you know, and he was excited because he got exactly who he wanted to face first in the tournament. Any idea of who that may be? No, of course I don't know who it is, Jeremiah. But, but if he's happy, that's all I want. I want Jeremiah, Jeremiah Nazareth to be happy, okay? Because if he wins tonight, that's going to be the forgotten right back on top, and I'm going to do anything to make that happen. Anything to make that happen? Yeah, 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 anything at all. Anything he says, I'm going to do because I bend to the will. Max Morrison of the Forgotten in tonight's Fate of Eight tournament here at IPW. Eight 
eight-man single elimination tournament to determine the number one contender for the IPW Championship July 1st at War on the Shore 3. Let's get it started. Here we go. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. It is four. The quarterfinal match of the Fate of Eight tournament. Introducing first. Somebody 
gets attacked or gets <laughs> in case they get injured. Come on. Or if they're, <laughs> use the or if they're maybe I'm not using that mic. Home, you know? But but well folks, 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 I, I hear you, I know you're concerned. I am <laughs> I'm coughing a bit. Every time
That's right. Oh, he pinned Felix after a top rope right elbow drop. Yeah, Look at these monsters locking up. Elbows going to running alpha slam. And uh, this is clothesline he's beaten some people with as well. So either one of those, man, if he's you got a much bigger man than he expected. Sure. Either those ones. Two bulls. If you ever wondered where the gym is, these dudes will tell you where it's at. Yeah, look for them. They're, they're there. Wow. You, uh, you watch a lot more of these shows than you, Jared. Have you seen Chad Alpha just bull out of a ring like that? Never. I've never. I wrestled. He is a, he is a strong man. I've seen you two go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but I've never seen him be handled like that. I've been able to uh, move the logic as uh, incredible strength, but uh, I don't think I can out-muscle him out of the ring by any means. Chad Alpha sliding back in the ring. Oh, Karim on the attack. So Chad Alpha, one of the favorites of this tournament. Yeah, maybe just Josh Raymond, if I remember the odds off the top of my head correctly. And, and nobody accounted for Karim, though. Nobody. Oh, my God. I didn't. He's throwing off the betting, uh, so I'm glad I, glad I paid that guy 200 bucks to handicap this. Uh, Pass him, Gary. Stuck in the corner. Big shot. Yeah, square gear, keeping things honest. Square gear. Big shot. Back into the other corner. Man, Goldberg is going to get murdered by Chad Alpha. I, oh, yeah. I should have smelled it coming. The guy always has a swerve in him. Well, any guy, any person he started off this tournament was, Goldman was going to get murdered. I'm sorry. So, you know, Chad Alpha hasn't lost her in five months. But uh, I don't remember. Or I don't think. He didn't lose me. Whoa. Big suplex. Chad Alpha back on top. November. 2021. I don't remember the circumstances. The car lost that title on a technicality, but he's never been beaten in IPW. Wow. Man, what a night. Tournaments are insane, man. I just wanted to get this oh. in. We got an action packed start here. I don't know if we're going to get a chance this whole tournament with all the competitors we have. Tournaments are rough, dude, man. I have been in a few. They test you in different ways, man. Uh, you have different opponents because you get hurt and you have to carry on. You're not just fighting one match. You've got to decide how much energy to put, how much gas you want to waste on this first round match because you have two more to go. If you run it all, you could be out by the second round. That's why you see a lot of oh. big, big tackle. Alpha. Chad Alpha's putting all the gas into this one, baby. All power from Chad Alpha. I bet you the rest of the tournament contestants are happy. Absolutely. They didn't draw Jeremiah Goldman in this first round. So one thing I will say, the competitors I don't believe knew their opponents, at least the ones I talked to. Oh, big clothesline from the back. They the seating like, right before the show. So sure. we're kind of learning about these matchups as uh, we go here. Cover, one, two, no, foot on the rope, or hand on the rope, excuse me. That's a hand you I'm a journalist, a, so I can't <laughs> that one. You're a broadcast journalist broadcast now. Journalist. Welcome to the club. It's really hard to be a broadcast journalist on the YouTube. Here I am, baby. Come on, Ralph. Carl, all that power. Right, Gary's doing the best, man. Right there, there's Goldman. Oh, Gold, get him out of here, Ralph. Come on. Oh, that's what he's good at. He's ready for Alpha. He would neck press that little weasel hanging on to him. That's a, you know, that was a problem. You know, it's him. It, it, What's he gonna? I mean, he's still got another match. He's just gonna keep doing this. What the yeah, gold team does. Absolutely. They got two members in this tournament now. Two viable members in this tournament. They had two before. Goldman. Goldman is tough to deal with in the ring because he's just all over. He's loud. He's bright. He's distracted, man. You're trying to focus. You're trying to put a plan together. You're trying to watch out for two tough dudes. In my case, in the tag team match. And he got this butterfly on the outside, flapping around, trying to kick in the shins. And he knows when to pick his spots. He absolutely does. He's a smart idiot. That dummy. Big Chad Alpha with a big Alpha, drop kick. Alpha bringing the drop kick. Oh. Takes it to the corner. Chad Alpha's going all out here too, man. Chad Alpha's been on a streak for a while now. Except five months, right? Five months. No one has been able to beat him. That big dude right to the mouth. It was awesome. He got away from people like Goldman and others. And he found his own way. Absolutely. Crowd here too. Carl. Whoa. You don't see that happen to Chad Elf every day. No. Chad Elf did not. I mean, anybody would say he didn't know his opponent was. Coming to this tournament, I don't think he expected to wrestle anyone bigger than him tonight. No. That he was your game plan. He's between him and Anderson Knight, they were the biggest guys. I mean, I think he's got some size on Knight. Oh! What happens when it comes down to gold team members, Anderson Knight, and now Carl? I can't oh, wait wow. to see. 
that's the kind of situation where you would say Goldman's going to make the call, but maybe either one of those guys doesn't want to lay down in the biggest uh, biggest chance they've had here in IPW. The winner of this tournament, J. Rod, as you know, is going on to war at the shore for the IPW title, and that is a big opportunity. Our biggest event of the year, War on the Shore, 3 in July. Good old Muskegon, Michigan. Go Skeet Town for the beatdown. You got to be at that one. Look at these two brutes just beating the hell out of each other back and forth. Slammed his head to uh, the apron there. Wow. The hardest Slammed part of the ring. Oh, big chop. Referee kind of let things slide a little bit. At least you got to be careful. <laughs> we can see a double count on the double DQ here early on, man. And you got to imagine, everybody else is watching in the back right now. We have not been given... Uh, we don't know who's facing who tonight. This is all surprise tonight. I think it was like done like that on purpose. They don't know either. I, I kind of like that. I kind of know. Someone who likes to study the opponents, I don't like it. But someone who likes watching good pro wrestling, I kind of dig it. That's right. Be ready for every man in this tournament. Oh, look at Chad Alpha. Big back suplex right on the apron. That will realign the spine, baby. Chad Alpha stalking Karim now. Picks him up. Huge shot! Uh, and I apologize, I don't, I didn't have a chance to study Karim because I've only been oh. in this match for about seven, eight minutes now. I do believe Chad Alpha does have the experience on him. Oh, miss that drop kick. He's been in the tournament before, too. Yeah, he has, yes. Cover, one, two. Karim, former IPW champion, though. What a hard counter to Chad Alpha that this character is trying to be. Bad match for Chad Alpha out of nowhere. If I'm Chad Alpha, I'm talking to management after this, no matter what. I wouldn't be happy. Goldmine saw a new rule, something to protect the fans from screw you around a tournament match, and uh, he used it to exploit a uh, weakness. Just, now, Karim. Just wearing Chad Alpha down. Good chin lock. Gonna lean on him now. Gonna lean on him. Alpha. Alpha strong enough to carry that weight though. Alpha right back up. Making his way back. Oh! Slam back down. I think I I couldn't see from my vantage point. It'll look like a hair pull there. He doesn't have much hair, but he's got just about a handle as well. Chin lock again, Rich Chin lock. Leaning right on Chad Alpha. But especially the bigger guys too, right? Yeah, absolutely. And this is the kind of you don't want to get stuck in for long in a tournament. Because it's going to wear you down. You're going to go to the back and the going to wear off. And you're going to go, holy cow, i got to do it two more times now to win this thing. When it's, it's, a, test you when it's an eight-man single elimination tournament, you want to get this over with as soon as possible, absolutely. right? Yep. With as little damage to yourself as possible. you gotta be, you got to be careful about that. But you can't be too careful. Karim in complete control right now, just wearing Alpha down. The fans behind Alpha. But Goldmate isn't having it. You might be putting me wrong here if the sand drops a third time. No, no, no. Whoa! Alpha fighting back! It's no conspiracy. You can't keep Chad Alpha down any longer. Breaking out of that headlock. Bad drop! Suplex again. That's right on that spine that was hurt by the ring apron earlier, too. That really is going to stun Karo. And look at that. Look at his face. He's, he's hurt. Right what is going to Get him out of here. Big clothesline by Big Chan Alpha. Oh, Karo. Stop, stop the momentum, though. Big hammer throw there. Oh, a chop. Both these men. Not able to really get out of the block here at any point. Even yeah. started it, we started to come loose here. Oh. Caught the big lariat, though. Alpha says, this is it. I'm ending this. I thought he was going to go in for that big top rope elbow we won the uh, qualifier with. Maybe he didn't like the positioning. Yep, he's going to try to set him up. Running, running Alpha out. Slam. Oh, no, running Alpha Slam. You're right. You're right. Here it comes. Got it. Got it. That's a ball Cover. game. That was like 2.9 seconds. He barely got out of that one. I am shocked by that one, man. That was that so man. close. And that's disheartening for Chad Alpha now. He's going to try to win this tournament. Remembering, he hit his bomb, and it only got 2.9. He's got to stay on him, though. A he's man like Karam. you, you got to follow him. It's something that messes with his... Yeah, he's Back 
on the apron. Distracting Gary. Into the eyes, into the eyes. Those dirty sons of bitches. This is how Gold Maid advances, again using others to his advantage. Absolutely his MO. The war on the shore begins. Witness the first interaction between the IPW champion and the IPW Fate of Eight tournament champion as they prepare to do battle on the 1st of July. Also on the card, appearances from IPW talent like Vendrick Bison, Jimmy Sholwin, The Dark Gentleman, and more. Tickets start at just $20 and are available now on eventbrite.com. Join us for ice cold adult beverages, delicious food, and live pro wrestling on Sunday, June 11th at Bowling Warehouse in Grand Rapids, Michigan as IPW presents World to Glory. Sitting on the bench. Hey. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Qualified. We'll get to that a little later, I think. 
towards the, uh, that figure four. You gotta look out for that figure four for Josh Raymond. It is Ayahuasca DDT. Switch speed votes for that one. Uh, Josh Raymond, get back to him real quick here. Qualified April 30th at Destiny Grand Rapids. Uh, beating J Dre Jacobs with a crucifix. Uh, Josh, look at that. Tordiolis uh, lock and the uh, crisis driver. That's what he won the tournament with, tournament with in 2021, beating Tommy Vendetta. And now, man, I did not expect this matchup. This is awesome. This is tremendous. I'll tell you, as I can talk to Schwartz before the show, before we do this matchup, he actually put a loss to Josh uh, Raymond about, I'm going to say, 10, 12 years ago in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, he was up and coming. Mean, Josh the company was experienced on him. He was looking forward to wrestling Josh who was uh, really on the rise, trend-setting the Indies at the time. But Schwartz was one of the biggest losses in his career. He thought it stalled his momentum for where he was. He wanted to have the match to have gone better for himself. seen here since I've been here in IPW, but I can't wait to see this. These two technical wizards. And, uh, it's a submission. The submissions, both of them are known for just crippling people and keeping them down. And also mind games. Both really good players. Sure. Josh, 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 Josh Raymond. Slide down the ring. That's weird. Oh, wait a minute. I'm glad he grabbed that, grabbed that side. I couldn't see. Yeah, I couldn't see what he said. I just couldn't see what's going on in the ring. Oh, wait a minute. Look at Josh. This is a difference. Oh, he's going to keep it. Uh, I don't think he's just going to keep it. Ah, he's going to smoke it. Well, Ben Cannabis is here tonight. Cannabis, the official cannabis. Uh, no. You can say what you want. Like, all right, we did it all. We'll ring it again. Ring it twice. Go back to go back and watch the tape. YouTube below, we ring it twice. I didn't ring it. Yeah. Here we go. Josh Raymond with a smile on his face, but that could be very deceiving. After that douchebag in the opener, I'm uh, glad that we uh, yeah. are going to see what I hope is just a legit fun of us. The better man is today. Lock it up. This is going to be very quick paced. Well, in a mix of that with slow and methodical at the same time, just the way they think. Man, I don't know what we're going to get. Josh Raymond there, claiming the victory after a uh, Josh Raymond has won this tournament. The first, it was the first time they had that he won it. Absolutely. He's been in every one so far. Yeah. Most experience here of, uh, of anyone in the uh, in the tournament. In the tournament community. And uh, I think our second is uh, interview before the show. Josh Raymond has had the most matches of anybody in this tournament by far. Sure. Josh uh, made a ring of honor. And beat it in. Traveled the world. He has won the pin of eight. He's looking for it again. Good luck takeover. Schwarzy with head scissors. This is going to be fun, man. And it already is. Look at Schwarzy having a good time. Schwarzy's having a blast, man. that both these guys bring. They're going to counteract each other, too. Oh, absolutely. Here comes the fans. Behind both of these great wrestlers here in IPW. Odds-wise, we had Josh Raymond as the favorite. Three Look at that. Schwartz is 6 to one. They're dancing, for sure. These are two guys I wouldn't want to get drawn first in the tournament to take on. Yeah, same thing. Two guys that I would have a little trouble. Because they pick a body part and wear it now. There is the DDT. The 
Schwartz, he wants it. Schwartz, he wants it. That's all you can say. Looking at him doing what he's doing right now. He's got respect for Josh Raymond, but he also wants the gold. It's the precious. Here we go. Oh no! Raymond kicks out. Oh, Raymond with a huge clothesline. Where is Larry? That's where Larry at. <laughs> I thought I had something there. Huge clothesline by Josh, though, man. That Pepper Schwartz is right on the ground. Both men are down. You see Josh's face. He's, he, he's gripping that knee badly. And that is something you do not want to have in the first round of the tournament, man. Watch that wheels out. Good luck. Here comes Schwartz. Makes it to his feet first. Waist lock. A German suplex, maybe. Josh Raymond. Back. back to that arm, though. Cover. No. Shoe boy. Look at that. Look at Raymond. Oh, that Schwartz encountered a little, though. Chicken wing. Schwartz is trying to find it. There he Cross is. Cross face Cross chicken mark. wing. Uh oh. He's got it. The positioning, not the greatest. Oh, man. This is close. Schwartz, he had pain. Once he gets that on, it's hard to get off. It is. Schwartz is very close. Cool, so he can't see them, so I might, he might not know that. This is a, if only he could see them in the mid-cannabis side, he would be Oh, well. he got out of it. Schwartz, a, a little bit bigger of a body, was able to throw Josh over. Yeah, the power, power comes handy there. Oh, going back to that knee. Here we go. And again, yeah. Ankle lock. Ankle lock. That chicken wing, it's a little bit different than Mr. Bob Backlund's. It's, it's, yes. I mean, there's more restrictions. Four bodies are sure. working in a different way. Oh, man. Very painful. You can dislocate your elbow, or sorry, your shoulder, or really twist your neck now. Oh, he's out of it. Sends him to the corner. Oh, wow. Right to the most of that shoulder. That shoulder, like I said, it was torn a bit out of stock at the very least. He slaps that chicken wing on now. It's all over. Oh! Going to work on the shoulder, still covers. No. Smart play by Josh. That pin, Here he is. That pin was a trap. Chicken wing. Smart. That's Josh Raymond. It's man. locked. Cross face right. chicken wing. Josh right Raymond edition. That's it. That's it. Shorts, he was trapped, man. Wow. Smart. Smart wrestling. Here is your winner. I thought it was on. Josh went for a cover on that uh, that knee move to the, to the shoulder. That's not something you're gonna beat a guy with, you know. And the way he covered him as soon as Schwartz he looked at the free shoulder, Josh rolled right through that submission. That was a trap. Genius wrestling by Josh Raymond. That's why he's a former IPW champion. That's why he's with Fade of Eight. And that is why he's going to the second round. I'm a journalist. A broadcast journalist, damn it. And I'll tell you what. Let's get some beers. Let's go it. Bartender. Hell yeah, what a show, two shoot, two nights, he's in. Fate of Eight tournament continues here at Ruggers Up and Under in Kalamazoo on this June 3rd, 2023. The field is stacked. We have two already Josh moving on. back in the ring here, Josh motion for him. Sportsmanship. Yeah, Josh put his knees. Like, Dude, I gotta wrestle, man. I gotta wrestle two more times tonight. And he just jacked up my knee. I love it. Schwartzy, uh... 12 years later, 12 years later did not avenge that loss, but yeah. I know for a fact he has Josh's respect. That's a man right there. Need more IPW in your life? We've got you covered. 
Become a Patreon today, and you can have access to exclusive bonus content, never-before-seen IPW footage, early access to IPW content, free merchandise, and much more. Visit patreon.com slash independence pro wrestling. And here we go. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. Introducing first. Best friend, uh, there he is, 23 years experience in the ring, uh, qualified 423 in the Ypsilanti, in Ypsilanti, Michigan for this tournament by pinning the Dirk gentleman, as we mentioned, as I mentioned earlier, well, Schwartz ended up in a bigger four. One of the forgotten, so, uh, he's one half of their efforts tonight. Whoa! Cult off, everybody. Cult off! <laughs> oh. He is the leader of the forgotten from the mountains of Tennessee, weighing in at 234 pounds, Jeremiah Nazareth. I love this bracket, man. This means the forgotten's a uh, two man no matter what for this match. This is just as bad as Goldman doing what he did. Oh, I had a chance to talk. Morrison's going to let him in there. Oh, this is a pie for Jeremiah. I didn't even think about that. I just thought we were going to see these two idiots hit each other. I got to talk to Nasrith earlier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He went and talked to somebody about this. I was scared out of my well, pants. He's the only one. He lost a qualifying match and then got reinstated in the, in the uh, tournament. Qualified uh, on the 15th, April 15th. Revenge by beating his former version Casey Tempest in that Barber Brother brutal match. Oh, that was awful. He beat him with that finisher, the Guilty Revenant, after a gouging of his own. So he is. Casey out here again, uh, so we're going to see him again soon. Hey, Mind the bell! Shaking his leader's hand. Whoa! Are you kidding me, Morrison? Nazar said to hit him. Morrison, Morrison let's fight. Morrison wants gold. Damn it! He does, man. He's going for the game over. This is one of his big finishes. Oh, psyched him out. Hit him with a forearm. Next, next is that game over. That neck breaker into the face buster. Is finish. the forgotten no roar? Is he going for the hard drop here? Here we go. Nazar is telling him no. Tell him to get down. We know Max Morrison will listen to every word that he has to say. He's receiving that order to fight right now, now that he's losing. Tell him to get down. Come on, Max, you can fight this guy. Don't make it easy for him, Max. You want gold, too. You're in this tournament for a reason. You won. You made it here. I believe, I'm not positive, Max was in the weirdo creep. I believe Max Morrison is wrestling all the national stuff. Sure. If not, it's very close. Morrison, don't you dare. Well, I do want to point out what we still time here. This is the first tournament in the history of pro wrestling with two wrestlers named Jeremiah that spell it differently. I just wanted to point that out. Hey. Thanks for the fun fact, hype. Uh, Morrison laying down. To lay down after you just match. wonder what might have been, you know? Two. It was a 
high to a low really damn quick, man. One day, there will be a day, I know it, because we've seen all the forgotten. We've seen them all. They're the last, gone. The last member of the forgotten, not forgotten, Max Morris. Raising the hand of the man, he just... I talked to him earlier, too, and he said he would do whatever it took Absolutely. for Nazareth to win. Not himself, but Nazareth. Absolutely, that's what he, yeah. That's his Bend to the will. But Max, as you've seen when he's doing the lead, he will do anything for a victory. Get the chair. I've already got it. Is he, he has nobody else to browbeat anymore. Everybody else is gone. That's his new whipping boy. Max is going to get all of the... What's the chair for? You were going to get the chair. Now what's he going to do with it? The chair is full. He likes to punish his, uh, his followers when they lose a match, but he told him to lose the match. Oh my gosh. Uh, Max, what are you doing to him? Who's that beside? Man, before, and before he got into the oh God, just a different guy. Oh, come on, Max. Nazareth gonna wind up with that chair. No. Fight back, Max. Come on. He did everything he asked him to do. Sure. You guys had a lot of history together. A lot of good times. Great as it was thrown into that table. I was never. I hate this. Kissed his feet. We know that Max Morrison is a hell of a competitor. I, I, I gotta, I gotta think that set off, man. I can't deal with this. I'm a singer. Are you serious? Morrison, just a shadow of himself. A shell of himself, if you will. The IPW faithful. Wait a minute. Man, what's Morrison Max, doing? Max, come on, dude. Come on, Max. Uh, the embrace of the forgotten. I put the headset back on for that. Uh, I I'll thought it was going to be again. good. Nazareth knows that Morrison's all he has now. And it might be enough, man, to get to this tournament if nothing else. Well, now he's got the rest of his matches. He didn't get hurt. He didn't get worn out like Josh Raymond. No. Boy with him. He doesn't have to contend with anybody else. He's got back up.
final match happens now. Introducing first. There we go. This match is no surprise. Shaking it off, man. 
Jerry Vanning. I see him as a dark horse here. A bit of a dark horse, yeah. I think he's a uh, longer. He doesn't have as much experience as a lot of the other guys in the tournament. Uh, but they're not very experienced, man. He's got wind. He can go a while. He knows how to last. Oh, look at it. Anderson Knight pulling the referee. Referee Chris in front of him. The same as ass. Come on, ref! Oh, come on. Stupid gold knee. You said earlier everyone else had a uh, had a, had a, somebody else in the tournament to back up a friend of some kind. Whoever wins this match, who's going Oh my gosh, the strength! Big spine buster! Spine buster! Cover. That could be it. Oh, we don't have the Two. Leg. No! Wow. He did the right thing. He did hurt that leg. A leg hook that would have been a good night for Terry Van Avery. He shot from the lower back and then he spine busted the right. Look at his face. There's been a lot of close calls tonight. There's been like 2.9 seconds on a lot of these tonight. What an exciting time. A lot of guys can handle losing the match, man. It sucks when you're hurting. You, stay, you might stay down, but then you think about what the opportunity is. Says right in the corner. The shot and the short the side. Or is back out on that one. That is the last second of the trip. Okay. Terry Van Avery desperately needs some kind of second wind or something. Absolutely. One time years ago, I blew up my hip. Oh. I dropped on the floor, blew out my hip, and I quit pro wrestling in that moment. And the referee got to nine, and the crowd was behind me, and I popped up and slid the ring. And I lost that night, but goddammit, I wasn't going out easy. And that's what Terry Van Avery did when he kicked out at two, two and three quarters. And we saw Terry work through his demons, make a comeback. And the story Terry Van Avery yes. is now overcoming so much here. That super kick! Got him! Yeah. He hit it! Oh, man, can he cover? Can cover. He cover? One, like I said. two, three! Flash win for Terry! Here we go! Not even gold man thinks he won!
serious broadcast journalist Jimmy Shaw when you're in the locker room between rounds interviewing the winners and see, we'll see what we have going on. Home team Josh Ray with Ray Van Avery. Both of you guys advance the only uh, faction here to advance both in the second round. But you guys both have a meeting out there. Uh, how are you feeling and what's going to happen if the home team wrestles each other in this tournament? Well, uh, my ankle's not 100%. And, uh, but uh, if it comes down to you and I in the finals, the best man will win. I feel like shit. Back to me. All right, serious broadcast journalist Jimmy Sharlin here with another interview. Congratulations, douchebag. You really won a tough one tonight. Uh, how do you feel going into the second round of the tournament? No, no, no. You don't talk to him like that. You don't talk to me, right? Max Morrison. He is the leader of the Furcox. 
The following contest is scheduled for one five. Introducing first. Starting all over. I'll 
tell you, I'll tell you, Jared, what a dream match would be right now. The home team in the finals. Would you see that? That'd be a match, man. Two friends going at it. Honor, hand. I mean, like, we'd see a hell of a match. Most definitely. And it's crazy to see how things have worked out. The home team, the only unit still intact in this tournament right now. Oh, slams him. That's, that's dirty, man. Right I'll tell you right now, Jared. That, a body slam hurts enough. You land, knocks the wind out of you, it hurts you. You also slam the feet on that middle rope. That will hyperextend the knee. Your body's going one way, and all of a sudden it's misdirected the other way. That hurts your knee. That is a lot of damage. That is not a rope. It's a taped up cable, ladies and gentlemen. He's in pain. That hurts. Now that he's choking about that. Thing you can do to the boat. I don't know if a lot of fans know how much the ropes can hurt. Look at Karam. This is Karam. Making his way back into IPW under the guidance of Jeremiah Goldbane. Despicable. Carl, I'm sure as hell didn't come in for a participation trophy. You know, the both gold team members, man. Again, come on, get Knight out of here. Any other night, Terry Van Avery's out there to get his partners back. But Terry Van Avery right now is trying to catch the marriage. Two. I'm sure he wants to watch this match, but he needs to worry about himself right now. Terry took a lot of punishment tonight, too. He absolutely did. He is not being selfish, man. It is what you need to do. They're going to turn on. I'm sure Josh will want him to. It's every man for themselves. Absolutely. You can only have one, no matter what Goldmate says. There's no such thing as cool champions. There's one champion. Josh is still, oh, still mad at that guy. Rolls him out. One, two. No. Wow. Yeah. He almost stole that one. Oh, Karam demolishes Raymond Van Ooh. Josh is tremendous to roll up bet. He knows how to get a roll up, man. He knows going for that home run, that bomb every time isn't the smart way to go. You can get your guy off guard, roll him up, get a win just as easy. Karam. Full bravado. Thinks he's got this one wrapped up. He can't, even with a bump knee, he can't count out Josh Raymond. Nah, man, that knee's from that heart's intact. He knows what it is. All the way slam. Josh Raymond told me actually just this past week, uh, he's got the biggest heart pro wrestling. His doctor told him so. It's actually a real danger. He could have some kind of role in this. Yikes. He was joking, I hope, but Josh is really showing his heart. Oh, man, I, I wish he would so. Shut that, that human ferret up. So. When Josh Raymond wins, if Josh Raymond wins, they, they all leave, right? Goldman and his whole crew. Oh, boy. It's chopping back here. Josh, those shots did not have a lot of mustard behind them. Oh! Just picks him up and slams him like it's nothing. Soviet Star like takes him right One, down there. Two. Oh! Raymond still has something in him. I'll tell you what, that was a big kick, man. Josh still got a lot of fire in the, in the tank. I guess you don't fire the thing, you would gas the thing, you would fire in the, uh, sure. in the pit. Okay, right now, Josh's resilience is getting Karam's head. Look at that, he's yelling at Gary. Uh, for Gary the Freak, uh, uh, Gary the Freak Neely. He's trying to, you know, Very distract so Goldman can get his digs in too, I'm that's sure. True, that's true, that's true. They're a well-oiled machine being cheating scumbags. Very shady. Look at Raymond! Oh, boy, Two! Small back. Got him. Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. I didn't see it coming! Oh come on, man!
Is that locked or is it like 110 degrees? Terry is not watching. This. Terry's got to be prepping for the finals. Oh, man. Josh is really Can we get somebody else in the Josh. Hey, damn gold mean. Man. Kara. The return of Kara. I thought the return of Kara would be way different than it was tonight. I'm so disappointed. Kara back in IPW, man. Another amazing winner. Instead, he's just another stooge. Just another stooge to the gold team in gold mean. Ridiculous. Yeah, go some help for Josh, man. Josh has to wrestle again. Think about that. Josh has to an insane meeting. Against somebody who wants the title as much or as more, more than he does. Terry Van Rie, A3 hasn't held gold yet. I mean, what a good look for Terry. Is he going to have to go after Andrew as his best friend? Like, that's, that's not a price when he put it. He doesn't want that match like that. Josh can be a Gary's fine. Josh does have trouble with his feet. That's not good. I've seen Josh bring the feet up before. This is, this is not good for the main event tonight. Of course, if Goldman doesn't win, he has to wreck it for everybody else. And I'm looking just a couple of key things in Josh's body. But I'm moving on to show you.
Well, let, so here we go. Michigan Championship. What about the tag titles? I didn't get to see the show live in person, but I saw it. And man, you got to be upset. Yeah, I appreciate that. We're going to address that at some point here soon. But right now, it's not about us, man. Right now, it's about Mondo. Mondo's grown so much in a year. He wrestled Benjamin Bison uh, both in one of their early matches. Bison beat him. It's a big loss. He's just trained at the same time. They're natural fighters. And this is uh, this is Mondo's chance right here, man. Thank you, titles. I love it, man. Right now, from Chase Mondo. Michiana Championship. It's been awesome to watch real hype though come together win the championships. We had a hell of a road there. And uh, not cool how you lost them, but to see someone like Mondo even teaming up with you, you've been through the you know the, the wars with them. And, and it's just gotta be proud moment for you to see him. Side and I just said, hey man, like, I wasn't in a place for a tag partner at that point. I've had a lot of bad times. Sure. Before. And uh, Mondo broke through, man, and I'm glad he did. He's an awesome dude for hanging out. I was at his birthday party, actually, last week. I was on fire at his uh, sister's house. I had a great time, man. And uh, I, as much as I love, uh, I love Real Hives and Tag Team, right now he's going to focus on Mondo Real, and he's going to take the title for the advice. Scissors from Bison, the champion who, like him or hate him, his tactics kind of suck at times, but he gets the job done. He's still champion. I don't think he's been defeated yet here in IPW either. Mondo Twerkin. Mondo Twerkin outside. Side has a Bison's seen a lot. Bison's facing a lot of amazing hitters. Mondo is a different kind of animal, man. These are the amazing oh. animals. Mondo turns it around. Mondo, Mondo is coming down. We've been training for this one. Big hair pull. Mondo's weakness going into this. I'll be fair now that Bison can't hear it. We've been focused on tag team. It's a, different, a bit of a different game. Sure. We have been heavy training for the last two weeks for this match. Though. Well, the trials and tribu tribulations that you've gone through with two non-cons, is Mondo 100% though, too? Like yes. Uh, I would say 100. No wrestlers are 100%. That elbow, if you notice, he's not even wearing it. He's just wearing a little pad over it there. Yeah. Oh, what is this? Oh! Oh! Just a bone injury last week. And you have a distraction across the match. Yeah. Flying high. Big elbow in the corner. Mondo is real big. The realest man in the room. Oh, what a drop kick. Stepped up off his own deck and then kicked him in the back of the head. The hell with you, Benjamin Bison. I don't want to undersell Benjamin Bison. Like I said, I'm no. biased in this match. Bison's reign of terror is amazing here at IPW. He has done a hell of a He's had mystery opponents that, that's come in and he had no Hoodfoot, one of them. He beat him. Hoodfoot, he beat Myron Reed. Right? Oh, cover two. He's been working on that springboard for a while, man. And don't forget, he beat our current champion, Jamal K. That's right. To win the championship. Go back and watch that. Oh, Bedrick Bedrick Bison. He's a very smart competitor in that ring. He absolutely is. He is old. He deserves his most of the years of Is he a dick? Yeah. Yes. But. He also is very capable, man. That's a dangerous combination. A evil mind behind those eyes for sure. And uh, some skills to go along with. Hendrick Bison. Hey. He's done a pretty good job as being the Michigan champion. Saw it get smashed weeks ago by two non cons. Two non cons! It's two non cons. Don't give me a second. I love it. It's my new favorite song. Fendrick Vice in control. Vice has got the mind games flowing for sure. Oh! Dropping that head under the knee. I've never seen anything Butterfly like that. Face breaker? That, that's, 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 I don't think I've seen this. I think I've seen this. I think I've seen I've been studying the guy. Oh, that's oh, hard. Right there, I like it. Not letting go of the arm. No, Judo throw. It's very nice. It was, it was impressive. He knows where it hurts. Here's my advice to the person, man. He 
He's throwing different stuff at us in those scenes. We have watched some tape on the dude. That's one of my game. That's one of my, uh, one of my movies we've watched. Watch watch this guy, uh, he's throwing some different stuff at us. And you notice, he, he's talking with the ref a little bit, but he's not up to his usual shenanigans, jaw jacking with the fans, or, you know, Bison's taking him seriously, I think, tonight. As he should. Like I said earlier, these two have a real natural rivalry. They both started around the same time. And I had a guy who oh. started wrestling in Special J or Ash Andrews. Or the rest of the guys. We started right about the same week. We were rivals. We both tried to one-up each other. Sure. I beat that guy, broke his arm. Real narrow. About 20 years ago. There we go! Big arm drag by Mondo! Goes for the cover. Two. No. We almost Mondo. had a new champion. Getting rid of that dude was like getting a monkey off my back. He did an amazing 450 splash. His family doesn't believe it. But, uh, yeah. I understand that I see uh, this is the cover version of this. It's a redo. Oh! Hope to the eye. Look at this. Arm bar. Uh, you know, if you get that arm bar, man, he doesn't really have that arm bar. No. Kind of loosey goosey. If I saw this is such a douchebag, it kind of like lets someone take over the weight. He really would be dangerous and crazy stuff. Yeah, now he's got Mondo's special. Bison in control. This is a bit of a as good as he is. Bison knows he. Oh, cover! Wilson. No! There we go, guys. There we go. Bison treading lightly in this match. He knows he cannot underestimate Mondo Real. Oh, oh backdrop strikes. Cover. Two. No. You're not going to Mondo down. I'll be honest with you. You are not going to put Mondo Real down with an optional cover, man. No. Dude's got too much fight. Talk about Mr. Resilience here in IPW. Just when you think he's down, he's not He's not stopping the fight. Second turn buckle. Misses the leg drop. Bison reeling. Real going sky high now, it looks like. Right, you don't worry about this, he's taking a walk, I think. Bison wisely gets out of the ring. He's taking his belt, he's taking a walk, dude. Okay. Oh, no. Sorry, dude, I got to go. Hype. Bison's out of here. Mondo Real, a real rock star here in IPW and in real life. He is the lead singer of Suck City, looking for some singles gold here tonight. Bendrick Bison looking to take off. My commentator partner, Hype Shaolin, stopping Bison from leaving. Bison doesn't want to travel up that road, not with Hype. Hype telling Bison to get back in the ring. Mondo's ready. Mondo's ready for singles goal. Here he goes to the ropes. Suicide dive. Tope Suicido from Mondo Rio. And Hype's going bananas. Oh, what a shot from Mondo Rio on the Bendrick Bison. The referee has his hands full right now. A return shot from Bison. Another. Sends him into the post. Lifts him up on the bar, even. Just throwing down on Mondo Rio. Bendrick Bison got him where he wants him. The fans are counting down. Bison's a weird cat. Some people don't like him, but he does have a following. It's really weird. What a moonsault from the bar! Mondo Real, unreal moonsault from the top of the bar. On the Bedrick Bison, we could have a new Michiana champion. He throws him into the ring. Sky high, top turnbuckle time. Oh! Wait a minute. That's Big Jorge from Two Nine Cons. Get him the hell out of here, security. Here's Hype. Hype's ready for him. Hype has his hands full with Jorge. Refs, referee Chris trying to break it up. <laughs> 
sending both men out of the arena. Referee Chris, wait a minute, it's Bison, what's he got? The chalice, he misses. Mondo Real, sunset flip, nails him with the chalice. Ben Bison with the chalice to the head of Mondo Real. Cover, one, two, three. Unbelievable. The distraction from Big Jorge. Do not cons my ass. They stole the titles from Real Hype last week. Now, stealing an opportunity. Uh, a match he had wrapped up. Mondo Real. Shoulda, woulda, coulda been our IPW Michiana champion. Could have been way worse if Hype wasn't down here at ringside though. And Bison sneaks away again with another win, retaining his IPW Michiana Championship. Wrestling fans, IPW once again brings the most epic live pro wrestling event of the year to the deck of the USS LST 393 in Muskegon, Michigan on Saturday, July 1st for War on the Shore 3. Witness IPW talents like Ren Jones, LaDon Sanders, Fedrick Bison, Jamal King, and more. As always, this year's 2023 Fate of Eight Tournament winner challenges for the IPW Championship in our main event. Tickets can be purchased at eventbrite.com starting at just $25, and all ages are welcome. Muskegon and IPW fans, get ready for IPW War on the Shore 3. I gotta say, 
Because that son of a bitch did it again. He has been training like he's in dodgeball. He has dipped, ducked, and dodged every single match with these guys that he can. Wow. And now he's coming in to be wow. injured. Terry Van Avery after two matches. Oh, God, it's for the title shot. Get out of this is for the title shot. This is just like this man to sneak in the back. You know, I don't know. Did he buy his way in again like he won the Michigan Championship the first time? I don't know. I mean, the IPW board, I don't think he's capable of that. I think they picked some suitable competitors to fill in here. And I mean, as big of a deep bag as he is, he's a former Michigan champion. Oh my God, this guy. Uh, What's up with that cane, too, by the way? I don't That's wanna, new. Yeah. I'm sure something's been scheming up when he's been dodging work here at IPW. Probably shoots like smoke out of it or something like the cake pen. This is, this is, uh, this is unbelievable. A man walking in, this is UFC 3. This is Steve, Steve Jets, I think his name was, coming in and winning the tournament by, uh, having a giant man coming right in and taking apart an injured opponent. A fresh Jenna, Derek Jets, Wolf. I don't the guy's name, I apologize. I study for weeks for this, and I have no information on a blind finals, Terry Van Avery. Unfair advantage to Derek Wolf. Sneaks in the back again. Snaps and flex. Cover. One, two, no. And I asked Terry, man, during intermission, that match looks like Titan really banged him up, man. His little back is wrecked. Yeah, he barely left uh, ringside earlier, and Tarek Wolf is fresh. Not wrestled one match tonight, damn it. He won that second round match, and he hustled to the back. That, that is something you don't usually see. That's an injured man getting out of there. Like, he had to go get some, some ice and yeah, make sure which, whatever he uh, does best for his injury. Tarek Wolf did not qualify for the tournament this year, but you knew he was going to sneak his way in some way, and he did. If ever there was an opportunity for a sneaky, sneaky bitch like Tarek Wolf, this is it right here. Look at him. I know he's usually on commentary with you. I just thought we uh, finally fired the guy, to be honest. I thought that's what I That's what I, I thought, yeah. Yeah. I didn't see him here all day today either. Oh. If you guys are a member of our Patreon, Terry goes for the cover. Two count. Oh, man. Oh, man. I thought Terry could pull off the... Well, the miracle three times in a row. Two count only. Remember, Patreon, you gotta subscribe. You missed an amazing match this time. Get our Patreon for just under four bucks and watch that. That's a great deal, man. Hey, he's got the iPad. He's got the iPad. Come on. I come on. Pick it up. Come on, damn it. He's grabbing the iPad. Gary, come on. You can see him. He's not tucking his shirt in. It's always tucked in. He's got the damn cane. He's just playing around right now. And that cane is a misdirect right now. Oh, yeah. We're looking at the left hand, so you can the right hand as an iPad. No! Damn you! IPad, that's it. Damn you, Derek! Cover! Oh, come on, man. He's, like he's close to the apron. Close to the apron. This, One, this two, two, three. Put the ropes. Uh, come on, it's the ropes. Wait a minute, Gary Gary Saw, Gary Saw, thank God. Thank God we got a. An amazing referee crew here at IPW. What do we do? saw that. Like a thief in the night, he tried, there, we've tried to run out here. He's lucky he's not stopping this match. We're all lucky he's not stopping this match. Although he's going to have Derek Wolf oh, and Laura at the shore. Picks him back up. Closing bell time. Yeah, he's looking for that closing bell. Oh, but right on the right on the Terry. Back, couldn't catch the super kick, though. Stops the super kick. Closing bell again. No, Terry out again. Super kick. Yes, Terry. Go for the cover. One, they swung for two, him. three times. Are you kidding me? me? Terry Van Avery, the Cinderella story. is going to war at the shore. She is your winner. And fate of a tournament champion. Obstacles tonight. Terry Van Avery did it. I'll tell you, man. Terry Van Avery, what a performance tonight. Like I said, only three years of wrestling, but 15 years of MMA experience. He had the cardio advantage. I think a lot of guys wouldn't have. Came in there, came into a different situation. It caught that super kick, man. That Hail Mary three times in a row. 
Those two went back and forth too, it's nuts. Absolutely. You see Liam too hard in that finishing hold, I guess it doesn't matter. It definitely doesn't matter because you're a winner. You're third annual Fate of Eight champion. It's Terry Von Avery, man. Of the home team, great to see, dude. Challenging. Challenging. Supreme Cheval King at war on the shore. Wow, Three. What that's that's going to be, man. Are we a super kick away from a new champion? I guess we're going to find out July 1st. Muskegon, Michigan, man. I can't wait. That's the greatest event. If you can only make it to one, you got to hit that one. Our biggest event of the year. Everybody, Avery, every man. What a night, dude. This has been awesome once again. Hanging out with you, Hype. Absolutely, Jared. Thank you for having me, man. I appreciate being with you. Terry? Fun. I appreciate it for you two watching us. Listen, I hope you guys had fun too, man. He's got to be a little upset, but at the same time. Oh, we, got, we got robbed of, a, of an epic uh, team match, man. At least he kept Wolf from winning it. And damn Derek Wolf always sneaking in. Good conquers over a douchebaggery. Fun night here. This crowd, it's late and it's hot. They love Terry Van Avery. They're here for him. Thank <laughs> you.